What is going on everyone and welcome back to PES 2013 and welcome back to our Master League with Manchester United. The Bubbic Buddy Rebuild Dynasty is under serious threat. We are in the Champions League. The second leg, we're playing against Real Madrid. This is going to be a bit of a cracker, a bit of a highlights package. 3-2 on aggregate. We had a really good result. Let them back in it in the first leg. Probably should have been game over. I was actually very disappointed with Madrid. I thought that they were going to spank me a little bit. Um, but they just never kind of got going in the first game and I always look comfortable and I get off to a brilliant start in the second game as well. I think they're very slow at the back. I think that's their biggest downfall compared to the players I have. And also on top of that, I've just kind of quickened up my play um, to just like kind of concentrate a little bit more. But in the 28 minute here, you get you see Ozil doing bits on the wing. So Hummels puts him down a hole in the ground and Bubba is going to have to condemn that publicly, but privately he is absolutely buzzing with that. And again here, I was just being very physical. Ronaldo puts it in the back of the net and just as he wheels away to celebrate, he is called back by the offside and by the linesman. He is offside, as we said there. Next up, Kagawa with a bit of magic, beautiful ball into Sami Eto. What a player he has been for us, lads. Unbelievable for us since we bought him. <clears throat> in fairness, he has been a game changer for us. And he's practically, you know, won as the tie, I think, now. You know, we're 5-2 up. Valencia gets back in here just on the cusp of halftime. 45 minutes on the clock and Valencia slots at home. So we've now scored six goals against Real Madrid. They're not as good as I thought that they were going to be, but I knew that there would be a kind of a comeback or a bit of a retaliation for that. So in the second half, I just I think I, I went into myself a little bit more than I needed to. Oh, a beautiful ball in here to Kaka. And that's their second goal that is ruled offside. So it probably should have been like 3-2 um, or maybe 2-all, depending on I would have probably went a lot more defensive and not scored that third goal. But 60 minutes on the clock, we are a really, really, really nice position here. And then this happens. Absolute disaster from Hummels. Ball comes in. De Gea spills it. Hummels walks it into the net. And we're going to have another disaster here as well. Higuain in the 80th minute takes a shot. It's not even a rasper. Kak is there to slot at home. And that is just a shocking, shocking turn of events. Lads. This game, yeah, we're still comfortable. We do hold on. But it doesn't look good for the future of this uh, Champions League um adventure that we're going to be on because there's some very very good teams left so as you can see there arsenal barcelona juventus valencia uh benfica they all win ac milan and bayern munich or psg they all win as well so next up we've got a couple of highlights from the premier league i've kind of yeah i think i'm going to be putting all my eggs in the champions league basket lads i don't think i'm going to catch the league leaders in the league but we do still want to win and we do get off to a brilliant start here um halfway through the game Sunderland uh, nil Manchester United won we do hold on for that one and get the result in that one Swansea are up next and we are going to be having a very good game against these and from the 55th minute 45th minute I should say lads we get a ball from a short corner scores he gives it back into Valencia and he scores his second in the, his second game, his second start on that right flank. And I think I maybe need to utilise him a little bit, but he is a bit of a traitor, which we will see in a minute. Valencia to Rooney to seal the deal, slots it into the bottom corner. Rooney's 22nd goal of the season, or 20th goal of the season, I think, so far. Absolutely unbelievable striker. So, lads, we have a bit of heartbreak at the moment. I forgot how unforgiven the negotiations were. So, Ferdinand is going to Man City on a free. We're losing him on a free. Valencia has gone to Real Madrid. He's on a free as well. He signs a huge contract with them. And Fletcher has actually gone on a free. So, we've probably potentially just pissed away... I would say maybe 60 to 70 million because I put them up for transfer. They didn't have uh, long-term contracts. They only had a year left in their contract. Their contract was up for renewal. I didn't renew it on time and they're now leaving on a free. So yeah, lesson learned, but I forgot how unforgiving it was with Pez 13. And it's very frustrating because you can't do anything about it. You know, they just said that they were handing in their contract uh, or they weren't going to be signing a new contract and getting on with things. So, lads, we did draw PSG. I actually forgot to record at the very start of the introductions of this. Um, so we are joining just as the teams are introduced. Ibra, Pastori, Matuidi and Levetsi up front. I thought PSG, maybe I underestimated them a little bit, lads. Um, I tried to just kind of like keep it very solid at the back. I had a fairly decent team out. One or two of the boys were on down form. Carrick was on down form. Rooney was on uh, down form. Bubba has got a new hairstyle again. He's gone um, back to the barbers and said, you know, do something hip. 
and he looks like an absolute boss, a mafia boss or something. But in the 18th minute here, you can see I'm just trying to turn over possession, turn over possession. Ibra, Hummels is on a yellow. I have to be careful here. Ibra goes out wide. I mean, this is good defending, but he just goes past me. And that is, I think, the biggest problem in PES 2013. You will see here, he just goes past me. You know, I did everything perfect. He doesn't have any like right to get past me there and Lebetzi just slots it home and that is a disaster because again we we needed to be you know consistent we needed to keep them from scoring away goals because I knew they were going to score but I wanted to just score maybe a goal or two here um, and maybe take a you know a one or two nil lead in but we do get off to a lovely a lovely start back from the kickoff 20 minutes on the clock and it's that man again lads Wayne Rooney ties it all up but that away goal actually hurt my soul a little bit because you can just feel sometimes in the games that you know the, the teams are going to press and push you a little bit harder than they usually do when they need to get a goal um and you just have to kind of break the cycle i think sometimes you have to put in a challenge sometimes you have to just keep possession it's hard it is hard there is limitations to the ai in it as good and all as pez 2013 is now from this this is just a disaster i manual goalkeeper i knew he was going to try and put it put it in that spot but he should not be scoring from there. I mean, I've conceded two away goals that are really, really poor quality, in my opinion. That should not have gone in. I mean, I did everything right. The keeper actually stopped right here. Watch. See that little stutter there? Very frustrating because I think I would have cut the angle even more. But from here again, 73 minutes, I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. I'm gone all out attacking, uh, trying to get that goal back because I do not want to lose 2-1. And I kind of forget that this is a two-leg game and I'm going to pay the price. I come in here, I try to take him out. He slots it home from Ibrahimovic, lads. And this tie, the Champions League, I think, I think it's all but over. Unless I can have an absolute miracle, miracle result in the next game, it's an absolute disaster, I think. And Bubba knows it. We do draw as well as Arsenal draw with Tottenham. We draw with West Brom. That would have been a huge result for us. It would have put us within three points of Arsenal. And... At this stage, lads, my Master League, my PES 2013 journey looks like it's going to be coming to a very, very disappointing end unless, unless we can get a miracle result and keep the Champions League dream alive against PSG. So we are at the Parc de Prince and we are going to be taking on Thiago Silva and the boys again in the second leg. I think I've absolutely shot myself in the foot, no doubt about it, but we are going to try. We're 3-1 down in aggregate. We just need a goal to settle us in. Kagawa, who's been on good form lately, gives the ball into Burba. It falls to Eto and Eto slots it home. And I think if I had that chance again with Burba, I would have just squared it um, a little bit earlier. But we do get the goal. Eto has been on fire for us. And from here, just before half time, we put in a cruncher of a tackle, trying to get the goal. And I think this is the turning point of the game, lads. If Giggs had slotted that or I'd got the rebound from that, I'm winning this game. Because in the second half, you will see that this is the example. Look how tight the defending was. I literally could not get a shot on goal, lads. I could not get an open chance on goal until like the 70th minute um, or like, you know, half chances and then they get one chance. Ferdinand has got no pace at the back and they get a rebound. It comes back in here to Matuidi and he slots it home. And I think looking back on this, right, if I had got this match again, I definitely think I would have beat PSG, but our journey does come to an end. That look, look the amount of shots I had, 14 with eight on target. Yeah, I'm absolutely raging with that one as we get knocked out in the quarterfinal stage. We've been knocked out of the FA Cup. We've been knocked out of the quarterfinals. We've got a huge match against the league leaders. Huge match against the league leaders next, lads, in episode 12. And it'll be the penultimate episode of this series, Master League, PES 2013 Revisited. We're playing the league leaders. They've been scoring goals from fun. I need to beat these. I need to beat them. No doubt I need to have one of my best performances.